What's up, Pajama Kids? Troy Bros here, and I hope you're having fun on your e-learning day. But today, I wanted to show you how to use the Chromebook that you're watching this video on, on how to make art. Now, out there on in the world, there are a lot of different softwares and apps that you can use to make art, like Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, Coral Paint, all these different things that artists use, and maybe even some of your parents use, to make art for the companies that they work for, or just for fun. And so, today, I'm going to show you how to use this web-based software. It's like a website that you can go to, and you can make your own art on the website so you don't need to download anything you don't need to buy anything it's all free and instead of showing you how to draw something today I'm gonna show you how to use some of the tools on this website called pixlr.com which is a web-based art making app and so these tools are kind of the same tools that you're gonna see in Illustrator and in Photoshop and Coral Paint and maybe even other art apps that you might have like on your iPad or on other computers at your house and so let's get started and showing you how to use some of those tools all right, so I opened up my Google Chromebook, and in order to go to Pixlr.com, you got a couple options. One, you can Google it, Pixlr, and Pixlr is spelled P-I-X-L-R. Um, you can go up to your search bar, type in Pixlr.com, and hit enter, and it will take you to Pixlr. The photo editor for every idea is what it says right here, and try photo to, try photo editor Pixlr X or open Pixlr editor. This is the one we want right here, the white one. Open Pixlr editor. All right, no thank you. All right, create a new image. Open image from your computer, open image from URL. We want the very top one, it has a plus. It says create new image, that's the one we want. These are like kind of standard standards, 800 by 600 width, but we're just gonna hit okay. Let's just get it started, start looking at tools. All right, so this is my canvas right here. It's blank, over here is my toolbox, and you'll notice that there are a lot of tools over here, a lot. You can use your little touchpad to move your cursor around, or you can use your finger, whichever you one you want. Um, I'll try to use my finger. Um, First thing let's show you is the zoom. Right over here you see like a little bitty tiny mountain, you see a big mountain, and there's a little little rectangle right there. And I can move this rectangle close and make it big, or I can make the mountain far away. So now look, my paper's getting really small. And now it's getting really big. So do you want the mountain really close up? And it kind of shows you that little red square is, is where you're at on your paper, or on your canvas. So I want to be able to see my whole picture right here. Now, while I'm explaining this on your Chromebook, you're probably gonna need to have a tab open. All right, so right here, you can have my video going, and then you can pause it, and then go back to this, do some stuff, play with it, go back to your tab. To create a new tab, all you do is you hit this little plus button right up here. That little plus button, can you see that? There it is. Right there, little plus button. Let's go like this so you can see it. There we go. It's a little plus button. Now it'll open up another app or another tab. You can type stuff in there. So you'll have Pixlr in one tab and then you will have the video that you're watching right here in the, in the other. So, you got your zoom. You wanna make sure that you see your whole thing at first, whatever it is you're drawing. Underneath this right here, is layers. Now layers are kind of like a sandwich. Imagine you had like bread, and then you had peanut butter, then you had jelly, and then you had bread. Those are layers. And layers are awesome. It's probably one of my favorite things about photo editors, and I'll show you why. So, right here I'm gonna create a new layer. It's like a new piece of paper, basically. And what it does is it's gonna put a blank piece of paper, it's completely clear, right on top of my other paper, like a layer, like a sandwich. So this is my peanut butter on top of my bread. So now, I'm gonna come over here, and the nice thing is, is if you hover over these little tools, it'll tell you what it is. Now for my kindergartners, you might have to have mom and dad help you, or you can just look really close and you can kind of tell, because it looks like what it is. And it says brush tool. Brush, B-R-U-S-H, tool. Brush tool. All right, I'm gonna click that because I wanna paint. Now I can start painting. I can use my touch pad, which isn't that great, undo that, or I could use my finger. Now notice how it's kind of not smooth. The reason why is if 
you go really fast, it doesn't register. So you kind of have to kind of go slow. Ooh, look how smooth that is. Ooh la la, I can draw whatever I want. Weird or kidney bean shape. Cool. Now, you'll kind of notice that sometimes after I do something, I'll take it away real fast. That's called undo. And there's a quick command. You hit Control Z, and that undoes Control Z. If you want to redo, you can hit Control Y. Like this. So like, if you mess up, you want to undo something, Control Z. And that's the same command for Photoshop and Illustrator. Control Y, redo it. Control Z, undo it which is nice. If you mess up real quick, undo, undo. And what's nice is I can, like let's say I make a several mistakes. Let's say I go like one, two, three, four, and then five. If I make five mistakes, I can hit Control Z, undo, 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 which is awesome. That's great. So let's talk about the paintbrush. The paintbrush I have up here, all the different settings for my paintbrush. So if I hit this right up here, it says brush. This is what my brush tip will look like. I can have circles. Notice that these circles have hard edges. That means that it just goes from the color to the page. This one, it's softer. So it kind of like, kind of like a feather effect. So I, let's, let's go through the differences. Let's do the 30. All right, hit brush again to take away that menu. And then, so this is a hard edge. And then let's do this one right here. And this is a soft edge. It's softer. You see that? Kind of has like gray ends and like light gray. Okay, let's go back to my brush. There's square ones. And each one of these is situational. Like you might find yourself needing it. Whoa, what just happened? I think I accidentally hit the paint bucket. That's another video. All right, there, let's go back to our square. Kind of, kind of jaggedy. If you want to do like pixel art, that'd be cool. I'll make it look like an old video game. Go to my brush, stars, 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 stars. Do, 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 do. Look at that, isn't that cool? Isn't that fun? All right, let's undo those. Undo, 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 control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z. Um, for the purpose of this, I'm going to just do a regular brush and I want it to be a hard edge. So let's just do like 15. Let's do smaller, let's do nine, okay? And let's just make some shapes. Uh, just a circle. All right, that could be almost a head. Let's make a really simple head. I'll just give it some ears, um, some hair. Ooh, wonderful. Mr. Trowbridge is killing it. There we go. That is great. He looks kind of like a, a weird chef. Now, the reason why I did the hard hard edges, all right, is because now I can go to my paint bucket and my paint bucket can color these shapes in. So watch this, this is my color right now, whatever color I'm choosing, right down here. It looks like a black little rectangle and it'll bring up this, and the whole color wheel. So I can pick any color, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And then once I pick that color, let's say I want like a brown for his hair, I can pick like somewhere in orange and then in here I've got light orange, gray orange, black orange, tones and tints. So I can find a nice brown color. I'm gonna hit okay. Now, all I gotta do is touch. Boom. Look at that. Let's zoom in. See, I don't like how, you notice how there is a little white outline? I don't like that. Oh, there's a tool right over here called a hand, the hand tool, and that'll allow you to move this around if you want. So the hand tool, the hand tool will allow you to move around. I don't like how it has those edges. So I'm gonna go to my paintbrush. Look at my brush. Now, you know what? I think what it is, is I want a harder tip. And if you notice right up here, it says hard tip, scattered diffuse. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom out, go over to my mountain, zoom out a little bit, and I'm going to, it's a marquee tool. It's a little marching ants and they kind of go around and I'm just gonna hit backspace. And that just deletes everything. Just like when you're typing and you wanna delete something, delete it. So let's go back to my brush. Let's go back to black. So I'll go back to my color, 
pick black, hit OK, because I don't like that weird halo effect. Oops, Control Z, and I'm gonna choose hard tip. Now let's see if this works. I'm just gonna make even a simpler shape. I'm gonna make a potato that is smiling. <laughs> kind of. All right, so now back to my paint bucket. And potatoes are kind of like a light brown color. Let's find a good potato color. That's pretty good for potato. Oops, oops. Control Z, undo, undo. And then boom. Look, notice that there's no little highlight anymore. I have a magnifying tool, so I can zoom in that way too if you want. That's a pretty good potato. Here, let's put some, uh, do do do. Go back to black. Come on, black. Maybe I use my little pointer. Nope. All right. I gotta go. Now, for free, this is pretty good. Pretty good for free. Sometimes it's not super responsive. Those are eyes, I guess, on the potato. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Undo, 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 undo. All right, so there's my potato. Now, I'll, I'll tell you why layers are cool. I kind of talked about it earlier. Let's zoom out just a little bit. Let's say I wanted to make a friend with my potato. Watch this. I'm going to come over here to layers, and I'm going to make a new layer. A new layer. Now, notice that, so I have my background, which is the white paper, and I've got my first potato. I wonder if it'll let me... Can I type stuff? Potato? No, it won't let me. All right. Sometimes you can name your layers in like Photoshop and stuff, but you can in this. All right. I can take layer two and I can actually drag it below. Get out of your keyboard. I don't want you. So I, I move that layer. I drag it. I can put it up. Drag it. So now watch this. Let's say I... Let's say I draw... Another potato. Keyboard, get out of here. All right, let's go. Black, let's draw another potato. Oh, he's got a friend. But he's on another layer. Whoop. And then let's color him. Go back to my paint bucket. Now it should down here has like a little memory of the colors you've used. So I want to make sure that my potato is the same color. And then color him. Oh, see? Notice how that he covered up that guy. That's because he's on a different layer. So basically layer one is kind of like the peanut butter. Layer two, he's kind of like the jelly. But watch this, I can take jelly, the layer two, and I can move him behind him. So that's the cool thing about layers, is you can kind of build things up in layers. That's why it's called layers. What a concept, right? He does still kind of have that little halo grow. That's weird, I don't know. Did my paintbrush, did I get? It still says hard tip. Eh, I guess this is what you get for free. So, you guys can kind of play with those, the paintbrush, the paint bucket tool, layers, layers are fun, all right? Zoom in and zoom out, ooh la la, and that's about it. I mean, I've given you guys enough stuff to play with for like probably hours, just trying to master those, seeing what you can do. You can try different things, there are a lot of other tools, but I'll get to those in other videos, let's just... Try to keep it simple first for the little kids. All right. Well, pajama kids, that looks like it's all the time that we have. You know, if you need to watch this video again to get a better understanding, go ahead and just rewind it. Keep watching it. Um, I know even I still struggle with apps like this and stuff because it's so complicated. There's so many tools, but keep sticking with it. And you can play with some other tools. I will be making more videos in this series on how to use different things in Pixlr. And if your parents have Photoshop and Illustrator, maybe you can ask them for help or uh, ask if you can use it to make some really fun and exciting art. So I'll see you next time.